What's up guys? I'm Andrew with Nautilus Spearfishing and today we're going to be talking about a couple spear guns. Well, a couple spear guns but one brand in particular. Rob Allen. You may have heard of him. So uh, check it out. We got a Rob Allen tuna and a Rob Allen snapper here. This is the latest, uh, latest models that we have here available in the US. I'm going to keep it simple on the breakdown today and uh, go over these guns. Basically the snapper's configuration has to do with the band configuration and the shaft and of course everything's kind of green on it where instead on the tuna it's blue as far as the decal goes and some of the other stuff but we're going to keep it simple today so uh, this is a Rob Allen uh, spear gun we call these pipe guns basically Rob Allen calls, calls them a rail gun and everybody started calling them rail guns but in reality it's a pipe gun you have a pipe handle and a muzzle put it all together uh, this is the closed muzzle. Check it out real quick here. So this is a closed muzzle version. This is the, br the newest model uh, that Rob Allen has on the closed muzzle. Uh, and this is the open muzzle. Obviously you can see there's a bridge here. No bridge. Lined wrap. Uh, this does not require a line wrap. So this is all based on preferences, you know. Uh, open muzzle is going to give you a better line of sight. Closed muzzle is a little easier for loading, etc. You know, preferences. So, both of these are available on either which model. You can get it on the tuna or the snapper, not a big deal. Uh, you got two, uh, two 16 millimeter bands on the tuna, you got two 14s on the snapper. Um, you know, you got your shooting line bungee standard on there. Uh, Rob Allen anodized aluminum barrels with the, um, with the decal on it. Uh, Rob Allen barrels are very, very tough. Very strong, heavy duty, very difficult to break them or bend them. Uh, and then moving uh, towards the back of this gun, we have the, uh, the, Vecta, the Vecta handle. This is the Vecta 2 housing, but inside you have the newest components on the Vecta 3, which is a stainless steel line release. Uh, when you pull, it automatically releases, uh, etc., and all that stuff you have. Uh, tuna clip on the back to hook it up to a float line which is great this one actually has the wrapping off so you can see that a little better that hooks up basically to your float line and your gun goes off based you know basically however you choose to hook it up uh, you are you have a real uh, mounting bracket so you don't have to drill into the barrel or anything the mounting brackets already on there if you're an old Rob Allen user you're gonna remember how it was drilling into the old barrels which was kind of a pain in the booty uh, and that's pretty much it. You got your standard carbon steel shafts, which are notorious for being extraordinarily strong, but not very prone to um, to oxidation. These shafts can rust and oxidize once the coating comes off of it. So that's pretty much it, guys. That is a uh, that is a Rob Allen uh, little Rob Allen review. They've been around forever. They are. Battle tested, they have more world records than probably any spear gun manufacturer that I know of. Uh, they've been around for a while. I know Rob as well uh, and the crew over there. So thank you, Rob, for uh, being a pioneer in the sport and introducing us to the awesome rail gun, uh, so to speak. And, uh, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. So if you're thinking about a nice, cheap spear gun in the $200 to $300 range, this is a great gun. They also make them in carbon fiber. They are significantly more expensive, but you know, if you want to spoil yourself, why not? Thanks for watching. Catch you guys later.